so much procrastination has gone into making this video possible. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Riley and welcome to my channel on this lovely Thursday. Today I wanted to do a cool video for you that I've been planning out for a little while, but I wanted to share with you guys six tips that I have for new YouTubers. I know I'm still a new YouTuber, I haven't even had my channel a year yet. I kind of wanted to share the pieces of advice that I have and the things that I've learned in the several months that I've been on YouTube for anybody who's looking to start. So I hope you guys are down and let's get into the video. The first piece of advice that I have is to have a plan. And by have a plan, I mean have a couple things thought out first before you post your first video. Things like what day you're posting or having channel art up on your channel. Maybe having a description ready or having a couple ideas planned out so you can film a little bit in advance. A plan is something that helps me a lot and I have a plan because I have a set basic description. I've got two videos that I post a week and I know that and I've got whole giant lists of ideas of videos that I can do. It makes it a lot easier when it comes to filming and editing and all of that stuff that you have a plan and you know everything is going to be up on time. The second piece of advice that I have is make your video just you. And when I say that I mean don't do your first video with somebody else unless it's a channel with two or more people. And the reason I say this is because this is a mistake that I made when I made my channel. My first two videos on my channel are the sibling tag with my sister and I have not watched those since I posted them. But going into it I should have realized that since it's my channel I should have made my introduction just me. Also didn't help that I didn't know how to edit when I filmed that video. If you make it just you I think people will realize more that that's who the primary person on the channel is going to be. The third thing I have is that confidence is key. Whether you are confident or not, you'll gain it through portraying confidence on your channel. I was not very confident when I first started my YouTube channel and it was very apparent. I was nervous and I wasn't really sure how to act in front of a camera. But as I started pushing myself to look more confident, I actually became more confident and now I'm actually really confident sitting in front of a camera and talking to you guys and making these videos. The fourth thing I have to say is that shameless self-promotion is your best friend if you do it the right way. That being said, there is no right way to do it, but I can probably give you some pointers on things that you shouldn't do. I would not recommend spamming YouTubers comment sections or spamming on YouTube or on other social media platforms saying, hey, go check out my channel and all that stuff without it actually pertaining to the video. It can be really annoying and a lot of the times those kind of comments are filtered to spam comments and never even posted. Another thing I recommend is to when you're following and looking for YouTubers and small tubers to follow on Twitter or Tumblr or anywhere in a social media platform to only follow people whose content you really enjoy. I also don't recommend doing sub for sub. Gaining subscribers is a really kind of crucial part of YouTube I guess but you don't want to do it by subbing to someone's channel and then having them sub back and never watch your videos or having them sub and then unsub so you lose people but there are a lot of right ways that you can go about promoting yourself make that your Twitter make it part of your tumblr make it everywhere on all my other social media my link in my description because they always have a spot for a link is my YouTube channel because that way people see that when they go to your profile and they're like oh maybe I'll check them out. And I know it's not the nicest thing for some people to receive, but auto DMs do help get the word out. A simple little auto DM that says, hey, thank you for following, and if you're interested, can you check this out? It's not too annoying, but it does help spread the word about your channel. Number five is that to remember everybody starts somewhere. And I'm probably still at that starting point from what seems like to a lot of you. I'm sitting here with just over 200 subscribers that I'm so thankful for. I've worked really hard to get where I am, and I love every single one of you. Everybody starts somewhere. Everybody has a first video, whether it's public or not. And a lot of the big YouTubers that you see out doing amazing things, being on billboards, writing books, starring in movies, they all started right where you are. And they're humans just like you, so they went through the same things that you're going through right now. And one of the last things I have is quality, not quantity. When you're first starting, it might be easier to post one video every two or three weeks to get started. That way you'll be able to find yourself and have enough prep time to make things the way you want them. As long as your videos are of quality and are videos that you would like to watch yourself, that's the kind of thing you should put out. The number of videos doesn't necessarily matter at that point. 
And the same thing when it comes to subscribers. It's the quality of the people who are following you and the people who are interacting with you that mean more than the number. One of the big things I live by with myself is that I will not put out content that I would not want to sit and watch myself. And that actually means that sometimes I sit and end up and watch my own videos, but like, not gonna lie, I kinda like them. <laughs> if you don't like your video, don't post it. Wait till you have something that you're really proud of to share with the world. And that's something that I've had to learn because I didn't do that for a really long time. But now I make sure every single video I post is the quality that I want it to be and it's something that I would enjoy watching. I don't make videos on things that I wouldn't want to watch myself. And that wraps up my little tips and pieces of advice for new YouTubers. I really hope you guys enjoy it and I really hope it helps some of you new YouTubers coming to terms with what YouTube is and filming and all of that. Hope it helped you out. And if you liked this video or it did help you out, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and make sure you leave a comment down below what it helped you with or what you enjoyed about the video. And if you like my channel, you can be sure to subscribe. I post two videos a week. One video on Tuesdays, that's a trans education video, it's part of my series. And one video on Thursdays, which is sometimes videos like this, sometimes not. Also, if you want, you can follow me on all my social media, which is at the Riley Kyle everywhere. The links to everything will be in the description. I'm also hosting a giveaway Away right now on my tumblr I am giving away this copy of binge by Tyler Oakley the link to that will be below and you can check it out if you want and then if you're not sick of me yet I'm on a collab channel that I post on every Wednesday it's called quite the collab the link to that will be below and that's all I have for you I really hope you guys enjoyed this I really enjoyed making this video and I really hope it helped you I love you guys and I will see you guys on Tuesday bye